Good afternoon. My name is Alina Shotsova. I am an immigration attorney from Brooklyn, New York. In today's legally speaking video, I would like to give you some updates on uh, status um, of the law in the United States regarding family as a social group in asylum uh, claims. Uh, just recently, Attorney General issued a new decision in the matter of LEA that states that a family will no longer be recognized by um, by uh, asylum officers and immigration judges as a social group for asylum purposes unless um, the person can prove that family itself is socially visible in the community uh, where it exists. So what it means is basically that um, if before we could define uh, a person uh, belonging to a social group of one's family, now it seems it will no longer be possible unless the family itself somehow visible in the community. I'm pretty sure that uh, goes against the federal uh, decisions of by federal courts in various districts uh, because it's very restrictive. But it's still possible to to prove a claim like that. And uh, a good example of that would be, for example, when let's say a family of a large landowners, right? So that family is not only as a family but why it's visible in the community is because they possess something that is constant and is uh and is making them visible making these people visible in the community uh, of course it's a disappointing decision one of many that is targeting asylum area of law one of many that is um going to cut people's ability to receive relief in the United States, uh, make it harder, um, make it more difficult. Uh, but I guess we will see the development, how it's going to, uh, how the law is going to develop, how everything is going to go around it or against it or with it shortly. Uh, because what happens in the United States is that there are individual judges, immigration law judges that make decisions. They have to follow the Board of Immigration Appeals precedents and they have to follow uh, decisions by Attorney General. But there are also federal courts that do not do that. They do not follow those precedents unless um, there, is a, there is a reason for that. So it was called interpretation of the law by the agency and so on and so forth. But if a federal court feels that the um, interpretation of the law is incorrect, then the federal court is going to rule against it. And uh, in this particular situation right now, what's happening is that family court ruled prior, for example, Second Circuit recognized family as the social group. And now there is a decision by Attorney General saying it's not, and uh, by itself family cannot be, there have to be something else there. Um, so I guess we're going to see how it's all going to develop. Unfortunately, some people will have to be pioneers, will have to go to court, and will, their cases are going to be ruled on and then dealt with by lawyers, prosecutors, and judges. We'll be going to see what what really is going to happen with that. Um, other than that, asylum still exists in the United States as a relief that the person can apply for. Um, sometimes a person has to be creative and um, at times certain actions can also qualify as a political opinion. For example, um, refusal to pay bribes, uh, advocating for gay rights, uh, maybe advocating against violence against women. It also can be as a political opinion, okay, claim, not only social group. So unfortunately often person's relief will depend on these little technicalities uh, lawful technicalities uh, but these updates for asylum laws for today maybe tomorrow we're going to have something else and uh, I'm going to let you know and you can learn more about uh, asylum and other forms of immigration benefits on our website www.shotsova.com